while the players break for tea. Here are the highlights from the second session. Slip yeah! oh, fine from Flint. And then we went away for four. First boundary after lunch. Nice really fine sweep from Daniel Flint. Well, they're prepared to give it here and rightly so. Sandeep up the eye level. Now you were in India discussing a little bit about the over lunch, just about the New Zealanders, how they're going to cope with spin. And uh, Daniel Flynn played in those uh, two test matches and uh, he got out a similar way, Macca. This one's short, he gets the treatment. Not a good delivery and a good feeling for Daniel Flynn. Good start after lunch for Flynn. And this one's just a real long hop, a real loosener from Randeef. Plenty of time for the left-hander to go back and pick his spot. Look at that. Short and wide. And it got the treatment that it deserved. Too short. And gets the treatment. Get those arms up. Nigel Long. Six of the best. Wow, he's so quick on his feet here, McCallum. This is overly short. Look at that. Picked it up nicely and it went all the way. For a couple of shots in that first session that he hit for four like that. This one he went up and under. And not the biggest boundaries I've seen around some of the grounds around the world. Certainly wasn't big enough for Brendan McCallum. And there is the clip I think about two, don't need it, and have time to uh, just flick the bat up, there we go, raise it to the dressing room. Cullen with a drive is into it, and welcomes Aranga with a boundary, with a nice little off drive. Well, welcome into the attack young fella, that is a lovely cover drive from McCullum. Weight going through the ball. And in control, look at that, off the middle of the bat. Action short, that's all it has to be, and it's a boundary. Another one to Flynn, and he likes that area. Yeah, he's very good on the shot here, only fractionally short, but meant that Flynn could get into position nice and quickly. Lots of gaps on the leg side. Whipped away. And it's past Matthews for four. Wasn't all that far away from Matthews. But it was right off the middle of the bat. Yeah, Brendan McCullum. Really batting brilliantly at the moment. He's just flicked it from his leg stump. And... Uh, Look at the outfield, it's been quite fast, despite the rain we've been having. Thankfully no rain these days. And McCullum goes downtown. Six of the best. Fantastic blow. And his second six of the innings. He's certainly growing in confidence, Brendan McCullum. In his slot, off the middle of the bat, and gone a long, long way. Really didn't move that much forward, but that stride out. Oh! What a beauty! Great response from Rangana Heather. Spun the ball past the outside edge of Brendan McCollum's bat, and Sri Lanka make the breakthrough. Great response by Rangana Hera. That's the experience so we're talking about. Just enough to beat the outside edge and clipping that off stump. And that's the breakthrough Sri Lanka wanted. And to get a wicket off after being hit for six. Gone for 68. New Zealand 130 for four. Yeah. Moved away off his hip by Flynn. Turns the strike over, moves to within a single of his half century. It's all very well though, isn't it, Craig, just to say, well, they need to be more positive, they need to be proactive. But in this uh, sort of situation, you've been there, how do they do it? 
I think it comes down to intent, and I haven't seen a positive intent from James Franklin since he made his way to the crease. Got to be a lot more positive. It's all about defence, and that's a bit shout and gone. Nigel Long says, that's good enough for me. And in the end, that defensive mindset has been the undoing of James Franklin. Goes back, in which he starts to go forward, but then really has got nowhere, just beyond the crease. Herath appeals, and Nigel Long, almost apologetically, puts his finger up and says, sorry, you've got to go. James Franklin departs for a very laboured three from 43 deliveries in New Zealand in trouble. 142 for five. Oh. Go fine sweep. Yeah. Run away. Some work for the fielder to do. Won't get it. Van Vogt gets off the mark with a nice fine boundary. Well, he's a busy cricketer and he's one of those positive sort of players that he likes to get be happening, not afraid to try things a little bit unorthodox, that's a really good option with no man back there, only the second delivery that he's faced. Oh, Cut away, and that's 50 for Daniel Flynn, not off the middle of the bat, and he'll come back for two, and that's his first 50 for 14 innings, he last scored a 50 against uh, Sri Lanka. Herath, uh, chief among them, but he's cut away there by Van Vake. That's a very good shot indeed, and he'll get four. Oh, this is where he's so strong. Square the wicket, lets the ball come onto him nice and late. Because he's such a short man, he gets well back in the crease. Look at that, played it nice and late, guided it into that area. Herath has to go full and straight. He's nicked it. Well taken by Prasanna Jai Wardner. It's quite a thick nick. And that'll be T. And after all the hard work from Daniel Flynn, he perishes. A third wicket for Harath. Why do I bowl full and straight when you can bowl short and wide and still get the same result? That is a big edge off the bottom of the bat. And it was a really good catch by Jai Wardner because that was back outside edge, Flynn will be disappointed, he goes in the last over before the tee break, out for 53, New Zealand go to tee, 155 for 6. Well, New Zealand won the toss and decided to bat today, and really apart from McCullum who made 68, and Flynn 53, he's just been dismissed in that last over before the tee break, it's a sorry score. Card for New Zealand, 155 for six. No one else has really got a score of note. Two partnerships, well, one really 90 between Flynn and McCullum. We worked hard between that first and second session, and then not much at all for New Zealand. It's been a hard graft on a day that should have been a lot easier than what it's been. Sri Lanka have done a good job with ball in hand in tough conditions. Bowling figures, Rangana Harath dominating them, as we expected he might. 3 for 40 for him, but the seamers bowled well in the first session, picking up three wickets. And after lunch, Iranga produced a very good spell of reverse swing. 2 for 40 for him, Kulaseka a 1 for 30. Randeep bowled well in that uh, second session as well, and just three overs before lunch for Matthews.